All right, everybody, uh, another one of these little quick bug fixes. So I had a comment on a recent video, actually on my Godot 4.3 update review video. Um, and it was from Bloodbath SO2 who said, this video is great, but Michael, can you make a small video where I fix a bug? Bug where you use a key in a dungeon and the inventory doubles. And I responded that I thought I'd already fixed this bug, but uh, turns out I hadn't. I think I'd fixed a similar bug but let me just go ahead and demonstrate this so if i look at my tutorial i've got some gems an apple and a key and if i go and open this door and look at my inventory you can see the key's gone but my inventory rows have doubled okay so let's go ahead and look at this and let me jump over to the code base okay so here in the project i'm looking at the pause menu and this is the grid container right right in here in our pause menu that's getting kind of duplicated. And uh, the issue is actually pretty straightforward and I recognized it right away. The cause isn't, it isn't super obvious maybe. So if we look at this grid container, we've got a script attached to it and it's the inventory UI script. And if we open this script and look at it, we've got this function called update inventory. And this is actually the best place to fix the bug. But uh, what this function does is it goes through all of our slots and it creates an instance of an inventory slot UI, right? And that's each of these gems. That this is an inventory slot. So you can see right now I've got six. Um, so the code is looping through our slot data and creating a bunch of those. And it, this system is designed to, to house a finite number of things. Obviously, as you can see in the duplicating uh, bug, it can grow because the container it's in, but for this particular UI design, and probably in many games, you wouldn't want it to grow. And so there's a couple ways that you could handle that. But the reason why it's happening is because we're updating the inventory without clearing the previous slots, right? Because you notice that this code adds slots, but doesn't remove them. And it doesn't replace the existing ones, okay? It doesn't replace these, it just adds to them. Uh, there is code, though, that does remove them, and that's called elsewhere. So for example, here on the on inventory changed function, you can see that we call the clear inventory method. And if we look at clear inventory, it just goes through each child, so each inventory slot in the scene tree, and it just removes it with Q free. Okay. So essentially, we've already kind of considered in our code that we need to clear these. We just haven't done it in all the right places. Normally, we we update the inventory on this on inventory change. That's when you do things like pick up or drop items. But if the inventory screen is closed or for in some other circumstances, it doesn't seem to be calling this clear inventory when it should. That's why we're getting the double um, inventory bug. And while we could go through and find every instance where we update the inventory and make sure that it calls clear inventory, actually there's a far simpler solution that I think uh, works. And in my brief testing, it works just fine. And that is, because we know our, our update inventory needs to replace the inventory items, we should just simply call clear inventory at the first line of this function. That way we know every time that we update the inventory, we'll, we'll just start from scratch. That's just how, that's how this is built. Now again, if you had built your inventory a different way or you want to handle it a different way, you're certainly welcome to, but this solution should work just fine. This isn't something I would do clearing and replacing these things on a super frequent basis. But since we're only doing this occasionally when the inventory changes, when it loads and things like that, um, I think this is a perfectly acceptable solution. So let's go ahead and run the game with that new line of code added. Let me go down here and load my save state so that we can see I've got my key, Apple and gem. And if I come up here and open the door and look at my inventory, voila, key's gone and we don't have the duplicate issue. So there you go, simple fix, simple bug, maybe a little bit confusing to some of you who may have encountered it. And so I hope this helps clear it up. Um, I'm working currently on the next part of the dialogue system um, tutorials. And so I hope, let's see, let's go back here. So I hope you guys are, are anxiously waiting that. I, I hope to have that released any day now, just trying to fit it into my schedule. Um, but yeah, so the, the next step, let's just go ahead and run this as a reminder for you guys. The next step is, is we're going to take this dialogue system that we've been building. So if I come talk to this dude and we're going to add, we're going to make it so that the letters type out and animate the, the portraits and things like that. So it's going to really make this scene quite nice. So 
Um, as always, I really appreciate your comments and the follows and likes. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and we'll see you next time.